All right, good afternoon, everyone. It is fifth period on November 8th, uh, speaking and writing two at Kitakushu City University. Uh, let's see, we've got a few things that we need to do today, but instead of just today, I have to explain about last week. Uh, I made a mistake in setting the access privileges for the OneDrive folder from last week. So if you have not yet accessed it, okay, I have reset the access URL. So I'm very sorry, that was completely my fault. Don't worry, no one's work is going to be late. I reset the deadline so that it's now tonight at uh, 11, 11 p.m., okay? So if you're worried about being late, you're not late, just make sure that you get it in by tonight. You all did your work already, now you just need to be able to get it in there. It's due tonight at 11 p.m. I'm very sorry about that, but it's actually, it's it's not an excuse, but it's it's one little button that you have to click and I just forgot that one little button. So there's that now, uh, come on. So from class five, let's go back to this week, class six. I want to do a little bit of work with something called liaisons. Uh, liaisons are actually a very important part of becoming fluent in English. The, the key to pronunciation um, isn't in the pronunciation of one particular word. Even if you practice very hard to pronounce one word, that word's pronunciation will change depending on the word before or the word after. I'm gonna show you how that works a little bit later. But we'll be working with these bits on the liaisons uh, videos and the worksheets, which I already have down here, but I made a PDF for it just in case. Next week, oh, by the way, next week, going to be Saturday, this week. We have a makeup class. So I'm very sorry about that, but that's the way the schedule worked out. It will be this week on Saturday, this room at the same time, fifth period. So please make sure you come because that's a writing class. That's a writing class for uh, not next week. It is for this Saturday. And then we have still on Tuesday, the 15th. So we basically, between now and next Tuesday, we have three classes. Today, Saturday, and next Tuesday. So it'll be a little bit of work for you, but uh, just make sure that you remember this Saturday, we have a class. Now, your assignments for this week's class uh, includes the Quizlet material, and this uh, set is for you to use to more thoroughly understand the material for the writing next week. So this is all about the melting Arctic sea ice that you're gonna write about next week. Well, speaking of that as well, that, PDF is already on uh, our Moodle. So you can already access that and read it. Now, if you don't have time to read it, you can read it just before class, but that's not going to be very much time. It'll be much better for you to access this before class, read it, understand what you're going to do, and then uh, you will write according to the question that um, uh, I will have on the Moodle. So please make sure that you access that. You can access that before the class next week. Okay, and six, back to six today. Okay, and if you want help with the vocabulary, that's what the Quizlet material will help you with. There's the video uh, explaining uh, the corrections assignment that we did last week. And you can download that tonight at 6 p.m. And you have your regular reflection exercise uh, that's due by tonight. And this time I want you to answer a difficult question. So think about it well. Why are Japanese people generally worse at speaking English than almost all of their Asian neighbors? Right, two or three paragraphs ex explaining your ideas. So if you don't know, generally Japan has trouble with English. But if you compare it with other countries, like for example, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, those three countries speak English very, very well. And they are not G7 countries. They don't have the kind of money that Japan has, but they speak English better. Now, if you look at countries like Thailand or Vietnam, 
yeah, Japan is at about the same level, but it isn't very good. And Japan tries very hard to try to teach English. And to compare you to a poor country like Vietnam or Thailand is not a very, very big compliment. Why is that happening? What's wrong? Uh, tell me what you think about that issue and write it up by tonight at 11 p.m. Okay. So just to make it clear, in um, class five, I made a mistake and I didn't set the OneDrive upload folder correctly, but it has been reset now so you can access it. Please make sure that you access it and you put in your video from last week's assignment by tonight at 11 p.m. Otherwise, uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact me uh, at jdmcruise at gmail.com or you can talk to me in class. Have a good class, everyone.